All 435 seats in the lower house, the House of Representatives, are being contested. The House currently has a Democratic majority. 35 seats in the Senate are also up for grabs. If the opposition Republicans gain one seat there, they'll control the upper chamber. Former President Barack Obama and the incumbent Joe Biden have been in Pennsylvania, a swing state that could decide who wins the Senate. Three days until one of the most important elections, one of the most important elections in our lifetime. It's going to shape, the outcome's going to shape our country for decades to come. And the power to shape that outcome is in your hands. Two years ago, two years ago, you used that power to make Donald Trump not only a former president, but you made him a defeated president. Midterm elections matter. Republicans understand this. I understand it, I promise you. And Joe Biden understands it. And if you keep that in mind, if you ignore the fear-mongering, if you ignore the cynicism, if you vote, then we will keep this country moving forward. The only way to make this economy fair, the only way to make our democracy stronger is if we fight for it. You can't take it for granted. Former U.S. President Donald Trump has called for a Republican giant red wave to defeat the Democrats. He's been on the other side of Pennsylvania, backing a candidate he's endorsed for the Senate. As he considers running for the presidency in 2024, his speech was full of the usual accusations against the media and accused Democrats of being part of a left-wing tyranny. He again claimed the 2020 election was rigged against him and defended the riot by his supporters at the U.S. Capitol in January last year. Our country's going to hell in so many different ways, and that you have murderers all over the street, you have drug dealers, and you have everything, rapists, you have everything, and they take an unbelievable American patriot along with others, including January 6th people, okay? including January 6th people, and they got treated like nobody's ever been treated in this country. And yet, BLM and Antifa burned down cities, killed people, and nothing happens to them.